Hey everyone, Engram here. It's the 13th of November 2019, also known as The Sims 4 PC and Mac Patch Day. The team has given us mm -hmm. some new items for children and toddlers in Create a Sim, plus there's a couple of other surprises in store. Let's take a look at what we've been given. For child aged female Sims, we have this cute little toggle coat. Let's take a look at it. Look at that. That's so cute. And it comes in, what is it? Uh, nine swatches. And um, yeah, they're pretty cute. I really like this. I I just like toggle coats in real life as well. So uh, yeah, really loving it. Uh, in the boots section, we have these new boots. And they come in in nine swatches as well. The boots are also available to boys. So boys get those boots and in here they get this parka. The parka has again nine swatches. And yeah, it's a pretty solid item. I really like it. Hopefully it works for... Oh, let's have a look. Does it work for cold weather? Yes, it does. Fantastic. Now, for toddlers, we have this... I think it's called a cape coat. Either way, that is so cute. I mean, look at that. My heart melts. <laughs> My heart melts when I look at this. It's got 12 swatches. And, I mean, look at those bell sleeves. They are just so gorgeous. The whole thing is just, yeah, heartbreakingly cute. And check out those leg warmers. So cute. The other thing that I noticed in here is that when I opened it up, these shoes were also highlighted as new when I first opened it up. Like, opened up Create a Sim. So... I'm not sure if they're new or not. Please let me know in the comments down below. Either way, I just noticed these. I think they might be new. I don't know, but they're really nice as well. For boys, they don't get that particular item. They get this cute item or this cute outfit in nine swatches. And I mean, look at that. Those pants are and with the suspenders are killing me. They're just that cute. They're gorgeous. I love them. I mean, obviously we can take out the sort and we can put the kids in anything we want. The boys get the shoes as well. I the the filter for masculine clothing style is turned on in here. Without further ado, let's check out what's happening in build and buy mode. I suspect that the most eagle-eyed of us did notice in the trailer for Discover University that we could now have adjustable multi-story columns, which is actually a pretty neat feature. I love it. I don't quite know why. I think it's nicely ridiculous where you can have columns that are, I have no idea how many stories high. Did we need this? Yes. Did we need them to be that high? Heck yes, I would say so. Some of them don't stretch that far. They do show up as having a max height restrictions. These ones don't. So you just have to search around. The height restricted ones are restricted to two stories. Columns will also stop pulling up if there's a roof above them. So they are restricted that way. If you want some ridiculously tall column and you want it to intersect with the roof, then you will need to make the column first and then use move objects on to insert it where you want it. Because unfortunately, yeah, when there's a roof above it, then the column will stop at a particular level. Other eagle-eyed people amongst us had noticed that we now have an accessibility option within the game options that was spotted by people just sort of in at the side there in the game options menu. What it has turned out to be is that the UI scale is now scalable. 
and you can make it larger or a lot smaller you can use the control and u key to reset it so i think does that no that does not appear to appear <laughs> so yeah but control plus u will actually reset it so as you can see now whoop, reset ui scaling to default yes so i was not using the mouse there as you can hopefully spot it from my totally professional video making that is um that is the accessibility option that we have that will definitely be very useful for those of us who are vision impaired and also for people who have a 4k monitor where the menus and ui were previously just minuscule for those people this also has that auto scale with operating system feature there's a toggle for it i have no idea what that does exactly uh, it says on launch the game will auto scale ui based on the operating system's display settings for that monitor this may cause the ui to not display correctly if you are playing on or low resolutions with high display settings so i haven't tested what that does but um yeah let me know down below if you have seen what that actually results in and there is one final thing that i want to share with you guys that was actually not shared in this morning's um stream the maxis monthly so um i hope you'll hang around for those last couple of minutes of the video as i show you a really actually nice feature that has been inserted into the game that wasn't actually expressly stated in the patch notes or shown in the stream in the patch notes there is one fix that i wanted to point out it states claiming a bed is now exclusive to one sim now sims can sleep in their own bed without disturbance or worry about another sim using their bed and i thought okay well that sounds simple enough sims now won't just randomly slip sleep in my sims bed my sim will actually start going to bed on the side that they're supposed to have claimed or at least on the bed that they're supposed to have claimed but wait there's more it's not a set of kitchen steak knives or anything like that it is actually this in a double bed you can now assign your sim to a side and they will apparently i have not actually tried this in gameplay i just noticed it and i thought oh my god i've got to share this yeah um so yeah they will now use the particular side of the bed so i'm hoping that this has actually definitively solved the sims claiming beds issues that we've had was there anything else that you noticed in the game now that wasn't there before? Anything that was maybe mentioned in the patch notes, but was actually quite different when you actually went to look at that particular item or that particular interaction in the game? Please let us know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff awfully good to each other and I'll see you in my next video.